Okay. Seems to be working. Okay, Guillermo. Gonna have a look at your. Ah, of course, this is built. It's not important. It seems that all these built things that they are built. So I don't need to look at that, of course. I think all it's about is. Oh, this one is big. Oh, wow. A lot of changes there. All right. Um, so, util platform. Seems good. To make a platform out of that. Hmm. What's platform IDs? Do you define that somewhere? <coughs> ah, there. Okay, sure. Ah, okay, yeah, it looks good. Um, I mean, I thought I already made something for that, but. Okay, cool. Ah, very nice. So this is in the index, I think. Yeah, for now we have a lot of helper functions in the index, right? I think it's fine for now, but at some point we're gonna, we have to make it uh, cleaner so that we can also maybe use some of those utilities in other CLIs later. Because there's a lot of useful commands here. Uh, command copy command helper so it seems that uh, I don't know what MIR means but it seems that you <laughs> robo copy seriously there there's not a the copy command doesn't work that's uh, that's new for me uh, but I guess this is a good start uh, to make a, a different command for every, yeah, for every platform, I guess. Remove directory and create empty helper. Yeah, I guess. I guess you could split it up maybe into removing and creating, but even if, if, if you need to do some if statements like this, then maybe it's better to just uh, to just do it like this in, in one function, so that's good. Um, so I created this. Operating system is process platform. I hope you have to had a look at that, uh, because I thought you was gonna use that, but yeah, I hope you replaced it by this one, so that we don't use this one anymore. Uh, so I wonder... Ah, okay, this is something you changed. Uh, I changed that as well, this was a bug indeed. Uh, okay, so you... You just... So the open URL helper, ah, so it's an object, but this is a, uh, a function inside of the object, but I guess, yeah, here it's also source and test, copy command, no, open URL, ah, okay, so open URL helper, that's of course not a function, but I saw that incorrectly, okay, that's cool. Um, 
So. Oh wow. What is Robocopy? Why don't we have a copy command in Windows? There should be a copy command there. Okay, looks good. Install command string. Uh, where do you get that from? Uh, that's strange. I don't see it, but I assume that you did install command dot command, uh, something like that. All right, so this generates the command, right? So this is a function that you select the platform ID and then you say this creates the command. It just returns a string, so that's good. I think that's good. Uh, I just hope that, I think we have many conflicts now though. So I did a lot of changes as well in this file yesterday. That's also one of the reasons that we should split it up, right? Um. Yeah. Oh, okay, you already have these changes, it seems. Install instructions. Mm hmm. So. Very nice. Okay, so this is removed. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there. Um, so where did it go? Mm -hmm. mm, I, I also fixed a bug here, I think. Um, yeah, because there should have been a fs.existsync. I already created that, so I think we have a conflict. But um, looks good to me. I think we should clean it up soon, since there are now a lot of uh, helper functions in this file that we can reuse, probably. Um. But yeah, it looks great. Uh, I wonder if there's any merge conflicts, so I don't see them. Is that here? Ah, yeah. Okay, so there are merge conflicts. Um, let's have a look if I can resolve them here. I don't know. I've never done that, done that before. Um, so this has three conflicts in the build, in the build, and in the index. In the build, we can just doesn't matter. Just need to resolve uh, that it's. Uh, builds again so doesn't matter so that would work I think 
that will work. I don't see anything else. Uh, so how do I save that? Oh, wait. Maybe there's a button here. No. So how do I save that? Never done that in the Git editor. That's strange. It seems that this file is also really big. Cannot mark it as resolved. Um, so I wonder how to do this. I've never, <laughs> never gotten an, uh, a pull request from another clone. So when I click resolve conflicts. Okay. So now I'm gonna just do it the other way around. Doesn't matter. And then I go to next. Yeah. So it does let me go to next. I guess maybe I need to press those buttons in order for seeing something. But now doesn't seem to let me go to next. Okay, previous. And it's not. Ah, oh, can I remark it as resolved? Ah, that button seemed like that it was not available, but now it seems available. Ah, okay, I didn't see that. All right. Um, so this is inserted. And you remove the, the latest version import, that's fine. Hmm. Although, I think we should still... Uh, comment that in, because I'm gonna put it back later. Ah, uh, so yeah. So I created, I just removed, like instead of, you change the command to use it, uh, the second argument, but I don't think we need any argument for that. So I just re replaced it by ask. Um, makes it simpler. So this is great. Um, just a couple more. Uh, so you, you change the name of the function. Hmm. So I guess uh, I did a try catch around it. Um, I'm not sure if this is a different function. Is this command exist async? But you didn't, you didn't make a catch around it. So I think I think it doesn't matter if it's async or not. I think it was already async. So I think we don't need this command async uh, because I fixed it here in in another way. See, so I'm trying it, and I'm catching that it could not be found, and that worked. Uh, so let's go to the next one. I 
I guess that's yours. I don't know why you created uh, install command string because I just used uh, the dot command, uh, but I will search for your solution. Get command, install command. So where is it? Uh. Uh. All right. Uh, I don't remember. So it's gonna either return false or a string, right? Yeah, so did you create this or did I create this? I think I created this, yeah. Ah. Ah, oh, fuck, yeah. You're right, get command. I made a mistake there. I forgot that I created that function for OS. Uh, Good, good, good. That's almost a bug from my end. Well done. Um, um, so then there is just a lot of stuff here that's gonna be removed. So I hope that you didn't remove it. Or that I created that stuff later or something. So it's just um, seems that you have the target there commands and the server commands, but then those third party commands. I saw that you already have this as well. But I will just copy this just to make sure. And then I'll use yours. <coughs> hmm. Fixing for Windows. So, this is the cache commands. Uh, uh, I guess I guess that's just one couple commands but just get open vs code command and open docs command I added that one set new defaults uh, so then I think that's it. I think this should be almost the last one. We removed one of my consoles, that's good. Looks resolved. Alright, that's cool. Merge man's brain in two. And now it's trying to, to also deploy all those apps. Doesn't matter because this is the CLI. It would be nice though if I could just check out this thing. Because this should be... I should be able to check out this commit, right? No, it's on yours, I think. Ah. How does that work? 
cloned so you cloned it but i i am able to just make a commit on your clone didn't know that that's cool so well looks good to me i think i'm just gonna merge it and then i'll see if it runs and then i'll fix it thanks great pull requests Yeah, it doesn't build now. <laughs> I expected there to be some problems because I didn't test it, of course. And it was a big pull request with a lot of uh, small problems. Um, but it should be easy enough to, to fix that. Okay. Uh -huh. So, what you're doing here? Command replace variables. That's what I was doing. But the thing is, So we're returning the command. We're just editing it by replacing all the variables. So if the command has variables, uh, we need to reduce it. Um, so for every key, for variable we're just saying like variable key and, and then we're just uh, I, I think get command should do the trick right because that's returning a string of false um, So, if command, then replace it. Uh, but if the a command is not available, uh, I guess then we could just return an empty string. Uh, so this should always be a string, I think. it returns <coughs> um, a string or a string so unless this is no it's always going over that unless there's no variables uh, then it could return false so then we just need to do this and now it's always a string <coughs> seems that that resolved those bugs yeah seems to run sure
So let's try it out. Um, Okay, it crashes. So that, oh yeah, so I, I changed something here and, and I forgot to merge my change into the thing. So I'll just do that again. Uh, so there was a small thing that I changed where I look, because here it's looking for that file, but it's not looking first if it exists. So that's very easy. This sync just returns a boolean every time. So it's then it's gonna read the file and that returns a string. Uh, and otherwise it's just returning an empty string. So that, that should work. If the file doesn't exist, this becomes an empty string and it doesn't crash here. So that was my fix for that. Um, Open the docs while waiting. Uh, uh, I think that should not open this one, but this one. I think I also changed that, but I forgot to merge that. So yeah. Uh, so uh, nonsense, of course. So then it it it, it will open the the different docs docs are about sensible because of course those other docs are not available yet so seems to be working I'll ship it again oh whoa what's happening it's a lot of stuff running okay thanks Guillermo this, uh, this is it um, yeah Hope you learned uh, something. I hope it helped to make the video. See you.